In this presentation, we're going to add draws using bank feeds. In other words, we're going to see the transaction decrease in the bank account with the use of the bank feeds and add that information to our financial statements. Get ready because we're dropping in with Wave. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars dashboard. We're going to start off by going down to the reports down below, opening up our two favorite reports, that being the balance sheet and income statement. We'll start off opening up the balance sheet, then we're going to duplicate the tab, mouse it over the tab up top, right clicking on it and duplicating it. Going back to the tab to the left, we're going to do the same thing for the income statement, the P&L, the profit and loss, opening it up, mousing over the tab up top once again so that we can duplicate it. Then we're going to go back to the balance sheet tab and we're going to be changing the date. We're going to be changing the date to 2019, so we'll select the date drop down, 2019, update that report. Going to scroll down to the bottom and then show the details for it. Then I'm going to go to the second tab over here where we had our P&L. We're going to update that report and put it to 2019 and then update it because we want to see the 2019 information. And then we're going to scroll back down and show the detail for it as well. Going to the first tab then, we're going to go to our accounting now. We're going to look at those transactions. We're back into those uh, transaction information. Let's go ahead and filter it this time. We're looking at this deposit. So let's start to use our filtering feature. So we like the filter feature here. So I'm going to select the drop down. We want the uncategorized stuff. I'm going to apply that filter for the uncategorized stuff. Very technical name for it. And there we have the three items we haven't included. The draws being what we're concentrating in on now. Now the draws is something that came out. It just came out of the, the checking account for cash. Like someone went to the ATM and drew money out or just the draws. It might show up as draws or it might be indicated in some other fashion point is we don't know what it was spent on so last time we said you know we're imagining we're the bookkeeper we ask the uh the owner you know what did you take money out for was it for personal use or business they said business we don't know exactly what it was for so we had to put it to miscellaneous expense in that case it decreased uh the the income statement net income bottom line number now what we would like to do and what what i highly recommend setting up if this is your own business is to as much as possible anything that you have a legitimate business payment for that possibly is deductible for taxes you want to pay that not with cash you, you'd like to pay it with you know a check you'd like to pay it with a uh, a, a credit card or something or, or uh, electronic transfer why because that's going to add to your audit trail so we'd really like to have some of the audit trail because then i'll see the description we'll see the vendor and we can basically add it and then if there's a question about taxes at least you have that information in terms of who you paid in terms of the audit trail and if you just have a cash transaction then you got to do this the whole receipt thing to to support or or you need that more and that's going to be a problem also we don't know where to categorize it on on the bookkeeping side uh so what we'd like to say hey look anything that was is drawn out is just a cash draw it's because the owner wanted to take some money out and then use it for personal use and then if that's always the case for a draw then it's easy for us to know where to put it and that that's going to be to the equity side of things simply calling it a draw so that's what we'll do this time we're going to say this time it's uh it's we're thinking of the proper way the way i would i want to set it up is just a draw and i don't really need a vendor to set up a vendor because it's it's the owner so i'm not even going to put it to the owner i'm just going to put it to the account for draws so i'm going to select the drop down account and it's going to be an equity account that's the point they give us one here called personal expense or withdrawal uh personal expense well let's see that one more time actually it's going to be called the owner investment slash drawings that's where we're going to put it owner investment slash drawings and again that's going to be that was set up by wave that's one of the accounts that they gave us i didn't add it so we're going to go ahead and save that and then let's take a look at what happens on the financial statement so i'm going to go and well we could check it off as being uh we reviewed it let's check that off then and there we have that now let's go back up to wave and we're going to go to the balance sheet within wave and then update that and then go down and see it already came out of the checking account of course the other side now going to the equity section so it's in this kind of draws equity section now note we have both the investment and draws in here that means that this is going to include both the money that we put into the company as investing into the company and the money that we took out and it's going to be a net of the two so this this account's recording the net of the two you might see some sometimes you might want to have a separate account you could do that if you want for the investment portion that you put in and then the draws portion that you take out and then another equity account which is set up by the system which which uh, has the accumulation of income 
flowing into it. So here we have it. Uh, we put the beginning balance in there as the investment. And then we had another investment that we put in here and now the draw. So you can see it's netting back out. You could think of this kind of as like, uh, you know, the, the net amount that's owed to you as the owner that you put into the business, right? You put money in and you're getting money back out. At the end of the day, you hope that this is going to be uh, you know, like a negative balance account or, or a debit balance account because you're hoping that you're drawing more money out at some point uh, in the future than you invested in it. How could that be the case? Because the other equity account we have is, is retained earnings or the, or the amount that the income is rolling into representing the earnings of the company. So the earnings should be going up and hopefully that's what we're going to be drawing out of at some point in time. So this kind of kind of owner slash draws represents the net investment minus what, what was taken out of the company for draws. And, uh, and so you could see kind of that net investment. And then the other equity account, if I go back here, we can look at the other equity account which they're putting into retained earnings. And then this is like the net income of the retained earnings represents the earnings of the company. So this, so so hopefully this this one goes to the draws, flips to the draw side, meaning we've drawn more out, more out than we invested, which is good because we can typically only do that if we had uh, earnings. So we want the earnings, of course, to, to be high over time, allowing us to, to draw money out up top. So no effect on the income statement. That's the point. Last time we didn't know where that draw went and we just put it into miscellaneous income, a uh, miscellaneous expense, which is kind of like a deduction for taxes most likely and, and therefore could decrease the, the taxes. However, it's not, we don't know what it's for and, and we would need receipts if we needed to verify that kind of deduction for tax purposes. So that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.